Oh, I forgot to show you my painting, Tip. Let's see it. <laughs> I do have this uh, crazy two ounce Homer from the prep mint number 120. It's concave. This will be a $20 game. The box here, everything's right here. Oh, oh I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Oh my uh, god. Oh my god. I'm an are idiot. You okay? <laughs> Listen, time to hit that panic button because unfortunately a member of the community, and I use the name member loosely, has made a giant mistake uh, on social media with one of these things right here that you see in front of you. You know, YouTube does not like to have guns on YouTube whatsoever. Um, they try to keep that stuff off. They demonetize a lot of people that put that stuff on there. And for good reason, because they can be dangerous, right? In the right hands, which I think is a majority of people, they are just tools and that's nothing more. But there are a few people out there that end up making people like me who use these things as a tool. Uh, they give us kind of bad names, right? So we had a member of the community, member, um, and listen, he ended up discharging one of his guns on a Instagram live video. Very dangerous. Um, listen, and this is kind of the thing that I preach all the time, and you'll never ever go wrong when it comes to a gun, is remember this one thing. A gun is always loaded. Every gun out there is loaded right now. Just remember that. And if you can think that way and put that in your head that every single gun that you come in contact with is loaded, you'll probably handle it the right way. Um, and listen, I'm going to show you guys the right way when it comes to handling a gun. Here is a gun. The first thing I want to do, if I'm going to show this gun off. If I'm going to play around with it a little bit, let's say, is I'm going to go ahead and take the magazine out. It has ammo, as you can see in it. And I'm also going to make sure the gun does not currently have anything in there, right? And listen, I mean, we can do that a couple more times. We can try to make sure, we can show people that there's nothing down in that chamber. We wanna be very confident before we you know, show this thing off. And for the most time, unless certain guns like a Glock that you need to pull the trigger in order to start dismantling it, you still don't have to pull that trigger. And safe gun handling is keeping your finger here. Okay, keeping your finger down over the barrel rather than onto the trigger itself. So when this person was doing that, unfortunately, I don't know what they were thinking. They even like kind of charged the weapon and they pulled the trigger and they shot. <sighs> Luckily, safe fish. Let's just say a safe fish direction. It really is a bad direction because it's right there in front of you. Uh, he shot at some silver rounds and made some damage to those. Um, but I say safe direction, but at least it wasn't at him. But it really isn't that safe, is it? Those silver rounds could have caused the bullet to bounce back, hit him in the face, hit him in the chest, who knows, hit him somewhere else, hit somebody else behind him, around him. I mean, who knows? Um, it could have caused damage to something in front of him, caused something to splash into his eye, blinded him for his entire life. Who knows? I mean, shoot, he could have been handling it the wrong way and, you know, startled himself and threw the gun up and then grabbed it and shot himself. I mean, it's all bad. It's all bad. Now, the person that did this kind of takes it as a joke, right? I mean, he thinks it's funny, um, almost a way to gain followers, uh, probably the worst way that I've seen since uh, the Super Bowl and the, uh, the wardrobe malfunction with uh, Janet Jackson there. Um, just a terrible idea. It's very, very unsafe. And people that are unsafe with guns do not really belong in our community. Um, you know, that's, that's not who we want in here, right? And not to say that that person can never be a member of our community or can't, like, you know, come back into the good graces. I just mean a person who's unsafe with a gun shouldn't be here. So there's plenty of things that person can do. Go take some classes, go learn some stuff. Shoot, even watch some videos um, of gun handling and how to use the specific gun that he has so that he knows next time how to handle it the right way. Safe ways to handle a gun. Um, listen, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying this. I wanted to show it off. Um, you saw the full video of exactly what happened. And I want this just to kind of be something that sticks in your head. I never thought this was going to be something that happened within the silver community. 
I thought this was just some young kid, you know, thing out there that once in a while they make mistakes because they don't know the importance of safe gun handling. Uh, most of the people in the comments that I've seen that are on social media after this person did this um, have been very supportive of being safe when it comes to gun handling. The reason we have this Second Amendment is to protect us from wrongdoings of the government, right? From uh, a tyrannical government. And we don't want to lose things like this because people are basically doing dumb things with guns. We want to keep the Second Amendment. We want to hold on to it tightly. And people that stack silver are big, big Second Amendment friends, right? Typically, most of us, 99%, I would say, or they're around, are people that support the Second Amendment. Um, and they know how to handle guns the right way. And you don't see this very often, but when you do, you shake your head. And then I shake my head even further when the person does not take what happened seriously and admit, hey, shoot, I need some help. I need to learn my gun better. Um, that's crazy to me. That's crazy. And, you know, it's not just adults that are watching social media. I mean, it's a bunch of kids too. And now the kids see that kind of thing happen. And I mean, I don't want them to replicate something like that. Um, it's not the first time this kind of thing has happened in the internet, and it's not the last time it will happen, but I, I wish it would be the last time it happened within the silver community, for sure. But listen, um, whatever the gun is that you have, learn how to safely operate it. Um, learn safe gun handling. Uh, learn what it means to point a gun in a safe direction, which really is not somewhere in your home and pull the trigger. Um, I don't know how you can accidentally pull the trigger on a gun. I have never, ever accidentally pulled the trigger of a gun ever and i've been in all kinds of situations with guns never got close to accidentally doing that anyways um again treat every gun as if it is loaded in fact just believe for a fact in your head just believe that that a gun is loaded every single gun that is, exists today is loaded and you'll treat them all very very carefully look at that it's not loaded but i believed it was you know what i mean and we're going to go ahead and make sure that it's clear we're going to go ahead and lock it back because this is a Glock and we know how to do that nice and easy. No big deal. It is basically a safe gun right now, but we still don't want to pull that trigger, even though in order to take the Glocks apart, you have to pull the trigger, which is a weird feature <laughs> feature of the Glock. Um, I still wouldn't want to pull that trigger towards myself, towards something that I care about. You always do it in a very safe direction and pull that trigger. Um, to you know go ahead and do the dismantling of the weapon listen again panic panic set in when i saw that video uh luckily that person is okay um the silver that he shot is less than okay uh he treats it as a joke um or a way to gain some followers he probably thought that he gained some followers from this and he's probably appreciative of his mistake but i, I just wish that person would learn from that mistake i know that person watches my channel um, and I think that that person needs to really take what happened seriously, um, admit that he did something wrong, admit that he needs better handling and knowledge of weapons. And no matter what state you're in, as liberal as you want to get out there in the West, uh, there's plenty of places that will teach you safe gun handling. And I think it's really important for Americans, uh, at the very least, because we have the same, uh, Second Amendment right there that uh, is protecting us, but all people in the whole world should be safe with weapons. Anyways, I've driven it home now. Um, you've seen the video. You want to see it again real quick? I'm just going to put it at the end of this video uh, so that you can just continue shaking your head like I have. But um, listen, stack silver, stack weapons, but be safe and be smart about it because my goodness, that is scary. I got to go for now. I appreciate you for watching. Spectacular is out. Oh, I forgot to show you my painting, Tip. Let's see it. <laughs> I do have this uh, crazy two ounce Homer from the prep mint number 120. It's concave. This will be a $20 game. The box here. Everything's right here. Oh, oh shit! Yeah. I'm in here. I'm an idiot. Oh my I, god. Oh my god. I'm Are an you idiot. Okay?
Well, hello, everybody. I seek to educate and entertain through my journey of collecting coins and stacking precious metals. I encourage you to subscribe and please stay with me on this journey. I am Spectacular, the Silver Stacular.